Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another City Skylines video. For today, I want to get into the top five City Skylines mods for beginners. So automatically, if you are just starting to play this City Skylines game, definitely check out these mods. Let's get started. So before we get into the top five City Skylines mod list, I just want to show you the list in front of you. I have 50 plus mods. So this is exactly why I wanted to do a top five mods list for beginners. So now let's finally get this list started. So just a small disclaimer, this is not going to be a full tutorial. I will link all the full tutorials for these mods at the, in the first comment, the pinned comment below, but let's get started. So the very first mod we wanna get into is what's called the movement mod. So at the bottom right of the screen, you could see that the mod is currently activated. The reason why we know that is because we have these different options at the bottom if i click it it goes away and i click it again it comes back so essentially what the move it mod is is it, it's exactly what it says it is so you can move roads so i know that's not necessarily in the middle of the screen let's just grab a node in the middle of the screen you can move it side to side over and about now what's cool about this mod also is it's very helpful if you do press the page up button you can see that hey the ground is going up when you press page up Hit that control Z button, it undoes everything, and then page down, the road is going down. That is the basic gist of the Move It mod. And like I said, I will have the full video linked in the pinned comment below. Let's keep going to mod number two. So for the second City Skylines mod I would like to get into, it's what's called TMPE Traffic Manager. And I think this mod is very essential for people just starting to play their city skylines journey you know just to start out so just for the basics again the full tutorial will be linked at the bottom you could see this awesome intersection over here and what you could do is it's called lane connector so we are connecting different lanes and forcing the traffic to abide by those rules so you're going to see that cars can only go where the lane manager is connected then also a few other things that this lane, uh, well, the TMPE traffic manager can do is we can actually move parking. So right there, you are not allowed to park. And as you can see in the sign there, no parking zone. If you just click on it, you can reactivate it and reactivate the parking. It also has a few other things that you can do. Like for example, if, well, let's not touch that, that intersection, but let's say we wanted intersections with different you know we, we have two yield signs and two giveaway signs and you know what if what well what if we wanted to have them stop well you can create a stop sign so essentially this is how you control all your traffic in the city it's called the tmpe traffic manager mod so for mod number three i want to get into the network multi-tool so if you look to the bottom left we have this ui thing so at the top we have what's called the ui unified tool belt and what we want to dig into is the network multi-tool so we're this is the full tutorial will be pinned at the bottom um you know just the pin comment itself like i mentioned before but we'll just go through a couple things that this mod can do so what i want to do is what if you wanted to create like a really cool really simple highway on an off ramp and click this road let me click off it click this road then you want to click over to the other road where you want the connection be now that you have that connection in place, you can do the plus sign and make it bigger, or you could do the, the minus sign to make it smaller. So I, I like that size right there. And what you do is you're going to press enter. Now, another cool feature that this network multi-tool has, it has multiple features, as you can tell, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have 14 different things that it can do. So, wow, that's actually really cool. I actually never counted that before. The next thing I will show you though, this is probably the most popular one, is the parallel, create parallel mode. So what we're gonna do is we wanna create, say if we wanted an on and off ramp that was right next to each other, and we want it perfectly parallel. What we'll do is see this green node, we're gonna click there and we're gonna click the very end and we can create a perfect parallel line mode that is a complete clone of the previous off ramp and what you could do obviously is press the minus sign or press the positive sign and you can make it as big as you want but again press enter and then let's let's just get out of this mod in general and look how beautiful 
that on and off ramp is. It's perfect. So again, if you want more details, go to the pinned comment to the full tutorial on how to do this. Let's go to mod number four. So our fourth and fifth mods are gonna work together. So say if you have an empty part of your highway and you have these lines, you know, we're, we're merging from a two, well, I should say a three lane highway to a two lane highway. So you're like, well, what happened to those lines? Like, what can I do to make this look better? Well, if you go over to your unified tool belt and what you're gonna do is you're going to click on the line intersection marking tool. So. That will be our fourth mod. We'll go over the line intersection marking tool. Since we're clicked on the line intersection marking tool, click on the empty space in front of it. And what we're gonna do next is, again, the full tutorial will be in, linked in the, in the pinned comment below. But you know what we'll do is real quick, we'll hold down the shift button, we'll click on that node, and then we have a solid line. So again, we're gonna click on the red corner and then hold down the shift button and then we're gonna click on the blue one so pretty cool so far so what we'll do is we are going to have this go over this way so if you want so instead of having a filler we want dash lines like that and we'll pretty much want the same thing over here and so what you can do with the line intersection marking tool is is you can create different line patterns so now for example, let's uh, let's let's just do this for fun. So let's say we wanted to create like a filler, for example, and we're just gonna go. Oh, we can't do it. So we can't create the filler that we wanted to do. But let's just go over here. So while I'm just ad libbing this, we're gonna create a quick filler. So hold down the Alt button, and then kind of just go like this and press away. So then this way, you know, this way we have what's called a filler and you can actually change it to whatever you want and change the direction to it. You can just move things around. Again, the entire tutorial will be in a different part of our city, but again, you're, now you should definitely have lines to these and this is not what it's exactly supposed to look like, but you get the basic gist of it. So now that we're going to go back over here, we, have, we had our line intersection marking tool. What we'll do next is we'll use what's called node controller. So the node controller mod is, um, you know, again, from the City Skyline Steam Workshop, it is right here and we'll click on that node controller. So what the node controller does is you can stretch, you can actually stretch some of your roads. And now stretching the roads definitely helps, um, you know, the, if, it helps if you have roads that are just not working properly and you know, you, you'd see what I'm talking about. You'll get exactly what I mean. So the node controller mod can do multiple things, but for example, let's say we want to, you know, you can see that everything is kind of messed up and you can see everything's kind of not aligned. If you hold down the shift button and click this node over here, and then you click the bottom one, you can align the road. So this highway exit looks a lot better because, hey, we have a lane that's ending and it looks overall a lot better. What this can also do is this node controller is you can go over here and say if you don't want any of the crosswalks, you could get rid of all the nodes in general. Ooh, that was a bad idea. Let's put that, let's put that, that node back. But in general, you can control some of these nodes just by clicking on here in general. And say if you, you know, if you wanted to twist the road or bank it, you have the options over here. So guys, those are my top five City Skylines mods for beginners. Please let me know in the comment section below if you'd like a more advanced top five City Skylines mods list. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.